everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Shadows of Rose. And we're going to be battling Eve Evelyn next. Don't panic, you've got this. Still don't have my weapons, but I've got powers. your step. Oh shit. If you've never been born, it would have been perfect! Go away! That's it! Get out! Get out! Fuck. There's another one somewhere. There. Focusing, I'll help. No. Oh, nice. No. I can't believe how useless I am. No wonder no one loves me. What now? It's all your fault! <laughs> and I will never let you have what you want! Oh, look out! <laughs> um... Ethan? Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. <laughs> Michael was Ethan, I knew it. Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Yeah. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. Well, let's get crack a then. I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. Got all my stuff back at least. Right. 
Oh shit. No, whoa. Alright, we'll read through that as a later point. Oh, hello. What's all this doing out here? What's this death stranding shit? Okay, we're back in the actual village now. Well, in the Mega Mega My Seats uh, recreation of the village, at least. Oh. What? Okay. Yeah, white sage definitely keep having some of that. Definitely having some of that too. Ooh. Just like in the castle. Yeah, someone here really doesn't like you, Rose. how those creatures come to be. They're essentially just reanimated roses. So if that, that, that could be Miranda then we're seeing, unless it's Eva. Did Miranda's uh, plan work? Gross. Yeah, technically I'm wasting bullets, but I'm saving my, uh, my power. I suspect I'm going to need it. Yes, I will have that. And I'll definitely have that. Taking longer. I need to find that crystal. I know. I know the mission rose.
wonder, is Chris going to appear in this at all, I wonder? Like at the end, maybe in a cutscene. Be interested to know what he's been up to over the last 16 years. He's clearly still an active member of uh, uh, the Wolf Squad. I suspect Resident Evil 9 will probably take place after after Village, but before this. We've, so we've got 16 years still to play with in the lore, as it were. That's gross. Is this where those copies of me came from? Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious. The fuck is this? Ouch. Someone's been here. Uh, let's see. The Megamycy absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there, there are laws which govern the world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalogue them as they become apparent. The memories that compromise, comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are uh, attuned to the mutamycy in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the megamycy as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yeah, it's Miranda. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the megamycy, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I've strived, have continued to strive, they are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycete, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement, with so many minds and memories gathered here. Finding, the ret finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Excuse me. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know of the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all my years of searching. Rosemary Winters. Jeez, Miranda. Even in death, you're still a crazy bitch. I've been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousnesses stored within the Megamycete. When a person dies, their consciousness is uh, stored and, pres and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamycete and mixed with other consciousnesses and memories. Extracting and reassembling an individual who has thus diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousness to, consciousness to create an identity. An entity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, respooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual birthed anew in this realm. A success to be sure, but while its unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed by a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Ah! So it wasn't actually the Duke, it was just like a twisted representation of him. Conclusion. While manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. Okay, so Duke's dead. We know that because the memories only transfer to the Megamycy upon death. So that's a shame. I like Duke. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel, however the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica, Ethan. Instead I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove, a suitable, prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. 1. The fact that Rose herself is still alive. 2. Some other actor within this realm. 3. A flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor 
are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm where she, where she were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be simple. Ah. Kay's behind all this, isn't he? Additional observations. Further experiment, experiments with these rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations invoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time, could they? Well, if a certain someone was planted within Wolf Squad, sure. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousnesses, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. The intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been uh, running around enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamycy powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Yeah, good job, Evelyn. By interfering, you've actually proved useful. Crazy little child. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. That pull I've been feeling is close. But I just can't go any further. I thought I had made it when I saw that blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger. So close. I was so close. I'm almost there. Michael. It's through here. I recognise this place. Black God which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy but to preserve, and once again deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. I agree. Now climb up there? No. Wait, so the, those gems I was selling to Duke before, these are the, essentially the purifying crystals? This is not going to be the real one either. Too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but K 
he said, did he? Or did I? <sighs> was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. No way. Your ability to Now you mimic. can become the vessel for my Eva! Fuck you and fuck your Eva. Ethan! Ethan, you pest! Go! He can manifest. He can save you, Rose! No one can. Rose! Rose, hurry! You can't escape! It's good to see you again, mate. Just ahead. normal life make friends no one will ever call you a freak again but rose just go i don't want to leave you I, know. I, know. I love you but i need to know that you're safe so please just even you insolent pest i got this get out of here You need to take your powers back? <laughs> there we go. Let's get let's get Super Saiyan on this bitch. Don't worry, Dad. I've got this. You think your powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? How intent you were on my throwing them away? Whoa! What? I think you were Why do you? There will be wailing and gnashing. Here I come. Bring it on, bitch. And even if you were. What would be the point? You can see your father. You are of two different worlds. <laughs> I have a super dodge. Fuck you. How about this? Ah. Ah, maybe I can use my uh, thing on that. Hold on. This will also. No, okay. Offer yourself unto me. Let's see this. Why suffer needs? 
Right. So I can't destroy those this time. There's no shoes. There's nothing. Yeah, there we go. You It's me kicking your ass, bitch. Do you still not see? There is no happy end. What are you doing? The wicked witch at the end of her reign. Nothing changes. Oh shit! Your okay. suffering will never end. Let 
I wanted you to dodge, not turn around. How dare there, there will be wailing and gnashing. Shit. Any more sprigs anywhere? So sorry, what's that? Hang on, Emma. This will all soon. Dodge, will you? Did I do it? Over here. Dad. Did I did I accidentally do it? Use this. Take her down. The power of love and friendship. <laughs> What's this? What's this gonna do? Return and yield your strength to me. Okay, I can't actually do anything. It wouldn't let me do anything. Will allow, will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain.
And even if you were to survive, what would be the point? You can't save the father. You are of two different. as before. Hey, sweetie. Oh, my God. Oh, we almost saw Ethan's face there. You're, you're so caught up now. And even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. You've ever done is protect me. No, not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No, it was my choice, and I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> oh. I'm so 
proud of you. <laughs> I'm so very proud of you. I love you, Rose. I love you too, Dad. Oh, that was sweet. I'm back. I'm back. Oh. So wait, does this take place before she goes to her dad's grave at the end of Village? Because if I remember rightly, I think she had his ring as a necklace, didn't she? So is this how she got it? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. No, not as a necklace, she's wearing it. Oh, okay. Think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon would be as Last week, I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Okay, this ending makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. Okay, this whole th this whole interaction makes a lot more no. sense now. Right, this figure that appears. Are we going to get a conclusion to that? So yeah, there he is again. Is this going to be explained? A apparently not. There might be a post credit sequence, so uh, we'll let this run. And then I'll give my uh, my thoughts on this. All right, green green team. All right, doesn't look like there's any post credit. That serene team. Finish house rose on at least standard difficulty. Cool. Cool. Whole bunch of stuff I've done there. Excellent. What's what's special? Oh yeah, that's the extra thing well okay well yeah that definitely concludes 
the winter story, although we didn't find out what was going on with Mia. So I don't know what's going on here. I mean, oh, I don't know. I'm confused because it says it's to conclude the winter story, but it just ends with we know Rose working with Chris and the Wolfhound Squad, or whatever they're called. We know that all the residents of the village and the Megawaisi are uh, is essentially now done because Duke's dead. All the other lords are dead. Miranda's now died twice. Uh, not sure what happened with Evelyn. I'm sure Ethan sorted her out. Uh, sorted her out. Um, overall, pretty damn good. I've, I really enjoyed this overall. Some of the boss fights got really annoying. Um, yeah, that last boss fight got on my nerves. Maybe because I was trying to do everything in that last boss part and it just took me out so many times all because there's only one move it will let you do and that was the only one I wasn't trying to do but yeah overall very good very enjoyable loved what they did with it but this really does bring an end to the winter's story so I'm looking forward to what the future of Resident Evil holds. And of course now in March we've got the Resident Evil 4 remake approaching. So, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Simulator. this has been the Shadows of Rose DLC, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.